child by the age of six years old. His father is dead. He never saw his father. He has no siblings. He has no uncles or aunties directly from his father. And the only encounter he sees of death is his own mother, the one whom he is attached to. The most closest person you can have is your mother. And the first encounter of death that you see is your own mother's before your eyes in the middle of nowhere. And she is the only one you have to look after you. Rasulullah was in that position. He saw his mother turn to Barakah and her tears were flowing. Her agony of pain was increasing. And she is saying to Barakah, you are now his mother. And Rasulullah is looking at Barakah, Barakah is crying. He's looking at his mother, his mother is crying. She is dying. And Rasulullah is a six year old, does not know what's happening. And then he realizes that his mother starts to take her last breaths. Her eyes are open looking up into the sky and she's no longer communicating with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's saying, Ya Ummah, Ya Ummah, Ya Ummah. And she's not responding. The mother who always responded to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anytime he ever needed her, now she's no longer responding to Rasulullah. Her eyes are looking up into the sky. What should he do? He sees Barakah crying and he sees his mother dead, he understands that something has gone wrong. So the first thing he does was he jumps onto his mother, he holds onto her neck and he starts to cry immensely on her chest. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He wouldn't let go of her. And then Barakah, she holds Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says to her, Ya Barakah, int anti ummi ba'da ummi. You are my mother after my mother. You are now my mother. In other words, he's trying to call out to her saying, Yeah, Barakah, you are my mother. Please look after me. My mother's gone. I only have you. Please be my mother. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at six years old had to encounter this. And we look at ourselves and we think we go through so much pain and struggles as if no one else is going through what we are going. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our messenger, the most beloved to Allah is in his first tears at the age of six years old. Six years old in our days, they're playing, they're happy, they're mucking around, they don't know what's going on. But Rasulullah at the age of six, an orphan had to encounter this first encounter. How heavy would it be on a six year old to encounter this? But you know what brothers and sisters in Islam, this was the first of this extreme compassion that Rasulullah had to learn. For Wallahi after that, every time he saw an orphan or a person who had lost his mother or parents, he was the first to understand their pain. He understood their pain more than what they understood. And that was Rasulullah Allah was preparing him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had prepared the messenger of Allah for the most important type of social interaction and social uh, care, which is the care of parents and the pain of, fa of loss of family. That made him the best leader on earth to be able to connect with the people of the poor, the orphans and those who have lost things in life.